Hi, my name's Richard. Um, I've not. Uh, I've been going to Woody's for about roughly about eighteen months, roughly. So, uh, not f particularly from a churchy sort of background. Uh, I used to do midnight mass, and that was about it. So, yeah, I, I met my girlfriend a couple of years ago, and uh, she was very much from a Christian uh, background, always had been, and she started challenging what uh, my preconceived um, beliefs were about Christianity and I started seeing things a bit of a different way and then she eventually persuaded me to go on an alpha course and then what happened was I did a, a Christian mission with Soul Survivor in Durban last Easter and it was during that time on the Easter Sunday of all days that I actually had my first Holy Spirit experience where I saw a vision of Jesus dying on the cross and he started showing me images of all the people that he had died for, sort of past, present, future, and uh, I just found it really overwhelming and I just started crying and I couldn't really stop. And I was like, <laughs> this isn't really like me, but it just it just kept coming and then and that's when it was the final nail in the coffin for me really. I think following Jesus has changed my life in the way that he's given me a lot more opportunities and he's made me a lot more patient and a lot more loving towards people than I was. I used to be very quick to anger and all that's kind of completely changed from how I was. So I think I want to get baptised because I'm ready to make um, a more of a commitment to Christ now that I've had that Holy Spirit experience. It's it's really sort of working me up. And uh, I feel that over the last year that my, my relationship with God has gotten a lot stronger. And uh, I just want to give that typical, that kind of cliched line in the sand. Um, I want to draw that here and then and continue in the, in, in the ways of Jesus. My name's David and I've been coming to Woodlands 26 months. I came at the Freshers' Fair two years ago in September and I was a very broken, lost, very sad individual and somebody offered me a burger at the entrance and I just went, whoa! And it was incredible, you know, I was shown so much love and so much care and uh, affection, it was life changing. And on the Sunday night, I was a very broken man. I spoke to somebody at the uh, reception at Woodlands called Paul, an old gentleman who used to work in the, uh, I think he used to be a preacher. And he gave me a big hug and he said, you, you'll be okay because I'm half Welsh and he had a Welsh connection. But at the end of the service, somebody prayed for me and they, I just felt touched and I felt as if God had his hand on my heart because the next day I was going to court and I was perhaps looking at quite a severe sentence. But I went to court that day and everything went in my favour and I, uh, I didn't get sent to prison. The reason I want to get baptised is I'm not ashamed of being a Christian. For a long, long time, there was a little bit of an embarrassment with me. People said, well, are you a Christian or are you not a Christian? But I am a Christian. And I want to tell everybody that I was, I was a broken man. I was in a dark, dark place. And I'm saying by this declaration that Jesus loves me. And it doesn't matter how hard or how dark your life is. There's always hope and the hope is very positive and the hope is very, very bright for me. And the incredible thing about what Jesus has done for me is given me new life, but he's given me an incredible sense of freedom and love for other people in the world. Um, my name is Elena Mashipurwa. I was born in Zimbabwe. I came to England uh, in 2003. Um, as a visitor and then I decided to stay and I did many training here and I was born in a fa uh, Christian family um, but during the time I was here I faced a lot of problems and I lost faith in God I was in hospital 
and uh, I was told because uh, where I was living, uh, I was I was made I was made homeless. So the hospital were trying to find somewhere for me to go, and it was difficult for them to find anywhere. And I started praying. I said, God, I know I'm not perfect, but I just need somewhere where I can have a roof over my head. I'm not asking for anything else, just a roof over my head. And the hospital kept saying, we can't find anything, we can't find anything. And to a point where I was told, we are going to discharge you in the streets. At the same time, I said, I've got relatives, but they've abandoned me. I need a family where I would say I belong. And that's how I met Dave Mitchell. I want to be baptized because um, with my situation, uh, I've got a heart failure. That might be, a, it would look like a silly excuse, but to me, I, I'm, I want to be baptized because at the end of the day, I want to make peace with God before anything happens. And I want to start more walking in the right path. And I would want to know God more than I did before. I'm so grateful for Tina and David Mitchell for taking me in. Um, I see them as my family at the end of the day because when I needed my relatives, they weren't there, but Dave and Tina were there.